yeah, so Y'all see all the this? naturalness. <laughs> <laughs> Say thank you. Receive. Thank you. Thank you. Why is your lighting better than mine? See. What's my name? <laughs> True story. Yeah. My name means light. It really does. It does. So, yeah. I know. Wait. I'm trying to upload Facebook so I can share it on the other things. But receiving, and I mean, we I'm joke gonna... and stuff, and we're not going to put the mic in your face. We're going to make sure we put it so he can. Oh, look. I'm all up in the camera. So he's. Oh, wait. I'll lean that way. Okay. Wait. You have headphones. Oh, I'll see. You know what? Yeah, because I'm going to take these and put these here. So you can put that there. Yes, y'all, we're in the break. Y'all like they are so getting their stuff together. Yes, uh, don't think we're crazy. It's just the behind the scenes stuff. It is the behind the scenes stuff. We talking so much, we're not putting ourselves together. Yeah. But yes, receiving, it's, a, it's an art. Your hair is perfect. <laughs> I love your hair. I can't take it. I can't take all the receipts, and it's you're just not yeah, used to that many yeah, compliments so in one day. Huh? Yeah. I'm gonna give them to you all show. I never get compliments, you know. That's, wow. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Good morning, and welcome back. The good life with me Eileen we are here on motivation Monday and we're we really here are. to open your mind we are living the good life right here on WBOK 1230 a.m. we are opening minds to living differently in the world with love really compassion are. tolerance and understanding for ourselves and Hopefully everyone else. We do that right here weekdays at 11 a.m. Make sure you tune in. You never have to miss a show. Why? Because we have Motivation Monday, Relationship Tuesday, Wellness Wednesday, Gumbo Talk Thursday, and Freedom Friday. That's where we open our minds, we drop our bags, we drop our fear and chain and guilt and all the nastiness. Right? Yes, absolutely. All of it. Yes, I had an amazing weekend. I received, speaking of receiving, like... You know, y'all know my mom. And so, you know, sometimes we don't take care of ourselves the way we need to. We always are giving, giving, giving. So my birthday was Wednesday, and I have literally the most amazing son. I mean, I'm sure y'all think yours is amazing, but, you know, I think mine's amazing too. So long story short, he got me a $200 gift certificate to Ulta with his own money. And so I, you know, it was honestly, it was really weird because I'm not used to, like, just, you know. And so nonetheless, I had a ball, and I went, um shopping all by myself and you know took over and literally got all new everything and he was like you know i had to put in i just got all new everything and so he was like so now you could throw that other stuff away <laughs> I, I think you know he comes in the bathroom in my bathroom he's like throw that away so anyway i had an amazing uh weekend receiving and it honestly it felt weird because i'm gonna be honest because this is how much i still have a control issue i went home <laughs> <laughs> because I got like perfume and everything. I was like, well, I'm yeah. here. I might as well just do it big. So, uh, I knew he wanted cologne. And so, do you know that when I left, he had, he had a cologne. Then he had like the tester box of like all this stuff so he could like see which one he wanted. <laughs> and then I got him some clothes. Like, I still had issues with receiving. Yeah. Isn't that terrible? Yeah. But I was just happy because like he made me happy. So I wanted to make him happy too. But then when I really thought about it, I was like, I still have issues with receiving. Yeah. And you're nodding your head. Yeah. And I, yeah, I said the story, I mean, because I'm happy. And if y'all see me on, on <clears> camera, I'll be like, oh, she got her new stuff on. Yeah, and I smell good. But nonetheless. It smells really great. <laughs> but nonetheless, I wanted to bring that up to Henry because, you know, sometimes people have a difficult time receiving. And when you do that, you kind of block your blessings. Don't you? You absolutely do. Um, I don't want to block my blessings. Yeah. Don't do that. I want um, them all. Yeah. See, you got to get in the camera. Y'all, he doesn't like it. I'm going to push it back and require you. There you go. There he is. So. Yeah, most people are comfortable in that. Um, okay. in most the, people in are the, comfortable what? In the position of a giver. Mm -hmm. And they're most comfortable in the position of a giver. And ironically enough, it comes from a deep-seated issue of being neglected or slighted. Oh, God. 
I knew you were gonna tell all my business <laughs> But it's okay, go ahead. It, it really does. It comes from a really deep-seated issue of neglect or slight. Mm -hmm. um, and so to prevent myself from being in the position of not getting, I've altered my persona to be that of a giver. Wow. All right, Henry. So then I never have to experience any type of disappointment for what I didn't get. I maintain the control of being the giver, which means I get to live. I like to be in control, like I said. On my own terms. Mm -hmm. And so I me. decide when I give as opposed to wondering when I get or what I get from people I think I should get it from. I maintain the control of it. There may be some truth to this, Henry. Keep going. I think there's a lot of truth to that. <laughs> That's why we have you here. <laughs> this is why we have you here. There's a ton of truth to that. There are people, I mean, the, the principle is that you will reap what you sow. Mm -hmm. And so you have to become comfortable. There's no way for you to be a giver without it coming back to you immeasurably. Or perhaps through people or avenues that you didn't even expect it to come through. Even the Bible says that you're going to sow even in places you didn't reap. And most of the time, we generally restrict that to, okay, I'm going to sow and then I'm going to reap. But I can be nice to somebody in California and that, that gesture comes back through somebody in Iowa. Mm. So it's going to come back to me. So the only way to prevent myself from uh, being a receiver is that I have to shut myself down mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and have to suppress my need to give. See, real genu genuine givers, they give instinctively. It doesn't have to be a birthday. It doesn't have to be anything. It doesn't have to be anything contrived. It doesn't have to be anything to do with just to be doing I can't help but give. Mm -hmm. That's why givers always have to guard their hearts because the way we feel love is through giving, not receiving. You know, mm -hmm. you can give me 20, 30 gifts, you know, and that's fine. But... I get more joy out of just being able to put something in your hand that I know is going to make a difference or bless your life immeasurably. And I don't know if I have much to say. I'm just listening now. No, talk, talk, <laughs> talk, 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 talk. Like, you're right. I don't know what to say. I'm like, <laughs> you're right. There's a lot of people nodding their head out there. And so, what... Well, I mean, I'm, I was reading mm -hmm, earlier mm -hmm. what to do, mm -hmm. you know, just to accept things and yeah. to say thank you. But once you recognize that this is something that you deal with, because I had to recognize it. And it was it was a while ago, a yeah. while that I recognized it. And, it, and it, like mm -hmm. I said, it, it began with compliments. Mm -hmm. And I, I would feel uncomfortable because, you know, the green eye thing. Oh, Every, it, it's hard not to yeah. notice it. And so yeah. people are like, oh, yeah. your eyes. And then you're like... Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And then it feels it like, mundane, yeah. yeah, no, not no, it doesn't get mundane because I'm blessed. Yeah. you know, God gave me a gift, and so I appreciate it. But you're like, okay, like, you no, know, I mean, it's saying it, thank you, thank you. Thank no, you, you just feel like, just like, like it said in the, like the first article, like you know, do I deserve all of this? Like, is mm -hmm. it okay? Is, is it okay to accept it? Like, is there a line where it becomes like narcissistic or where you, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. it's a, do you, you yeah, know? that's. That's the issue because, um, you know, I've had people I've counseled and, and one of the issues they had is, I can't stand anybody to stare at me. You know, people, I know. people stare at me and they, right, they, just look, they, all my they just look in my eyes. And, yes, and, and, and I'm and, like, stop staring. And, and really what that does <laughs> is subconsciously it think, it makes you feel as if your flaws are magnified before people. And so, and really what you're afraid of is somebody changing their initial opinion if they get to see more of you. Really, and so that's why most people they sh they'll they'll shut you out, not necessarily for any other reason except that I don't really want you to see what I see. I want you to see what you see because you've only seen at, at a distance and it based like on a therapy session. That's based on what you're seeing. <laughs> you've made this great assessment of me, and if I let you get any closer, I'm pretty sure that uh, that perception is going to be warped at that point. That's so interesting. Yeah. And it's funny, I'm telling you, I realized this, this was years ago, mm -hmm. and I'm, I by no means am perfect, mm -hmm. but I'm much more whole than I have She's ever. pretty close. Though. I don't even believe in perfect <laughs> anymore. Like, look, y'all know I'm in, a, I'm in counseling. I believe everybody should do it. Yeah. I learned a new word in counseling. Not a new word, but mm -hmm. y'all know what I mean. Relatively. Yeah. A whole. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, people like, I want to be perfect. Well, there is no perfect. So you can work profession all your life, and it's just mm -hmm. not going to happen. It just doesn't exist unless mm -hmm. you're Jesus Christ walking mm -hmm. on earth. Like, mm, not happening. Yeah. So... We need to work on being whole in who we are. 
and receiving is part of that process Absolutely. receiving love because you can't be part of the reason we're here on earth is to be love and to share love and to give love mm -hmm. and so if love and if we never let it in then we're missing a huge part of life so you know receiving love and loving yourself is you know receiving it from yourself as well mm -hmm. like even you know mm -hmm. i said you know as a mom you know i take care of this that and the other and I, sometimes i forget to take care of myself and you know him giving me that gift card and saying mom go take care of yourself was a wake-up call like you know i haven't done anything for myself in a while you know i'm just gonna go enjoy my trip to alta and <laughs> money's not coming out of my wallet right. you know hello right. you know what i'm saying so it, it's it's little things but it could be a walk in the park you know by yourself mm -hmm. it could be going get a snowball like come on i just like a snowball you know mm -hmm. Whatever it is for you, but taking that time, you know, going to see a movie. At first, I didn't even like myself. Yeah, I know that sounds crazy, but it seriously, like being doesn't. like being alone by myself, like in the like house that. is fine. But like yeah. you know, people would be like, I go to the movie by myself, or I go to dinner by myself. I'm like, what? Yeah, I'm like, mm. but it's like, me, I can do it now, yeah. and I am perfectly content, yeah. and I do not, you know, uh, I you're too sick not in a mean way but like yeah you know i'm okay with way. that but it took me to recognize it mm -hmm. and that i wasn't receiving love for myself or from others mm -hmm. and so you know i offer that to everyone listening today to open your mind to living differently in your world yes. and receive love from yourself and from your partners your family your friends and here's what i've here here's the trick when I started receiving love, my relationships with the people around me began to change. Yes. And I think that was probably more like, because <gasps> you always want to be like, oh, well, what's their problem? Well, it wasn't really their problem. It was my problem. The whole time. The whole time. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't, I mean, it wasn't a problem per se, but it was the relationship mm -hmm. or, you know, what was missing. And it was the, the back and forth of, of love and being open and being vulnerable to that love. Mm -hmm. Like I spoke of in the first segment, you know, receiving requires you to be vulnerable. Absolutely. You know, when you're the giver, you're in control. Yes. And so when you receive, you are vulnerable. And when you are vulnerable, you can open yourselves and have a genuine, authentic relationship. And don't try to trump what you receive by giving something bigger so that you can get back in the position of <laughs> being on top of it. Wait, what'd you say? <laughs> I did that. You actually did, right? I did right? that all right? the time, right? but not like, <laughs> I didn't do it consciously. But it happened like that, right? That's, yes. Yeah. That's the proclivity. Like, even if it's, like, cooking a dinner or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I, my mom is was, like, a Betty Crocker. Yeah. So I was, you know, people... And I actually, I had a friend say that, you know, I made lunch one day. And he's like, you don't just make lunch. He's like, you bring lunch, side dish, <laughs> cookies, Tea. you know, a drink, napkins, silverware. Crumpets. And I'm like, isn't that what everybody does? And he's like, no, everybody does not do that. And I was like, well, why not? Mm -hmm. Like, I... Yeah. I like to make sure everybody's taken care of. Yeah. <laughs> nobody's going to trump you. Now, you can be good to me, but I'm not going to let you be better at being good to me than I am. So. <laughs> that is so funny. But you were hitting. Eileen. I oh. am not the only person that does this, though. But how many people, no, you I'm know, not, I'm actually where if you, right, you, you yeah, do that too? Yeah. Mm -hmm. ah, well, then I have to yeah. give you something. Yeah. <laughs> give you something. <laughs> Uh, Here, Henry. Here's a pen. Right. I will expect nah, a Mont Blanc like a in the Toyota mail. Toyota or something, you know, just something. <laughs> I will expect my Mont Blanc very soon. Thank you. Right. But how many of us out there do that? And it may not. And seriously, we may not even think about it. Like somebody invites you over for dinner. Well, mm -hmm. you know, you gotta invite them over for a full barbecue next mm -hmm. time, mm -hmm. or whatever mm -hmm. it may be, or right. you know, whatever it may it's be. It's an esteem and a perspective issue. <laughs> because I cannot let your last opinion of me be less than the next opinion of me. And so, if I did this, now I've, I've purposely created in you an expectation that only I can fulfill. i got to be so good to you what? that nobody else replaces this opinion. So, just when you think you got good, I hit you with better. And then when you think you got better, I just lay the best on you. So, now I've created this gap of somebody's got to try really hard to make up this to get to where I left you in. People do that in relationships, huh? All the time. <laughs> Y'all stay tuned for relationship too. They tomorrow. That's a Wait, signature move. Back. Yes. I think people people do that in relationships yeah, too. Huh? Yeah. Oh man, I can't even begin to tell you. <laughs> People's minds are wondering now. Stay tuned. Because, no, but seriously, I think this opens up. That's why I love having you on Mondays okay. because you open up and you say stuff that I use like for the rest of the week. Honestly, yes, yes. Nah, that's why I keep you around. 
I see why I'm going out. I will, and all that I'll stuff. receive his information. Save these videos in case she get on TMZ and act like she don't know me and all this stuff. <laughs> TMZ? <laughs> I want to be on Ellen. All right. that. I'll be on the O channel. It's documented. You said you stuck with me. And I wasn't the friend that got the tea and the <laughs> crumpets and the leg of lamb and all that stuff she did. I didn't make My you, first I didn't hearing about all that. Next in, in no. Greens? Mm -mm. Nope. Okay. That wasn't me. Nope. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> and I brought hot sauce and everything too because I knew they liked it. <laughs> See, she laid it all thick. I had fruit. No, that's just what I do. It's what you do. So now the next time that person I just eats thought it was something. The, you know what? It's funny because I just thought it was the mom gene. It, but no, it's, it's not. not is really done now all right that's you can tell me about myself i don't mind because that's how we grow when we share you know what we're going through or mm -hmm. you know situations in our lives and we have those aha moments of mm -hmm. of why we do things the yeah. way that we do them you know we are all interconnected mm -hmm. and so by you know opening up i know that we have touched you know mm -hmm. someone i know we're saying it's my yes, story but it's yes, his story too y'all he does yes, the same yes, thing yes, yes, yes. so and and it's and here's the deal it's okay it really is. But recognize why you do it and then open yourself up to receiving. Yes. Yeah. Because people like to give too. Like they like to feel good. Yeah. 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 You deny people their blessing from you not allowing them to be a blessing to you. And it's so funny. Like the same person gave me a gift and I was like, oh my gosh, like it was something I really needed. Uh -huh. And he was like, if you just let me do stuff for you. And I was like... So I think people really do have these guards up where they, they don't do. realize they that do. they're not allowing themselves to receive. Mm -hmm. So I offer that to you to open your mind to living differently in the world and yes. see if you are allowing people to offer you things and to receive because it is just it is just a big of a blessing as giving. And so we want to make sure that the world can go around because, you know, if you have, would you teach me about having the closed hand, Henry? Yeah. You can give, give me the last little story before it's our last. Um, you know that you had this was like maybe months ago but you gotta go back on youtube and find that show <laughs> <laughs> basically that you can't have a closed fist absolutely but you have to be able to receive as yes. well as give yeah. or you basically kill god's law yeah. of reciprocity there you go that's you like happens. that? Yeah, I like that. That was great. See how that works? Mm -hmm. So, Henry, if people would like to follow you and... Just to... find Eileen. I'm wherever she is. <laughs> Just... <laughs> I like that answer. Uh, Everywhere you want to be. Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff. And email me at hbolden3 at yahoo.com. hbolden3, yahoo.com. Yes. Yeah. That's where it's at. And follow him on all of his social media at Henry Bolden. Yes. And you can follow us on the Good Life Radio Show, tglradioshow.com. Um, if you've ever missed a Monday and you want to check him out, you can go right shame there. TGL Radio Show. I know, shame, shame, <laughs> shame. Shame for shame. 